So I'm still in I'm still in a good relationship. Most of the producers that that, that I would say that made me yeah. because though it's a collective thing. Absolutely. You know, scratch my back, give 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 yeah, and take. Scratch my back, but I would say they made me up. because without their beats. So I'm still in like I'm still I'm still in contact with Dr. Fraps. So we'll see, just that like everybody has been busy. Saz, mm. you know, and you know Saz is doing well. Especially right now, with yeah. the track with his kid, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's big, massive. Yo, yo, what up? This is boy YQ, and I'm on Factory 78. Shout out to Chips of Doom. Shout out to Digilare. Shout out to everybody back there in Nigeria, back home. You know, shout out to all our fans. Shout out to those making it happen for Afrobe. We're going like this. <laughs> It is what I think you're the best, mommy. What you think? Ah, I like girls, girls. Me, I like girls, girls. Me, I like girls, girls. Girls with bomb, 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 bomb. But me, you'll let some of you find. Practice on the ATV, we live in the studio with a special guest all the way from Lagos, Nigeria, the one they call YQ. What's up, what's going on? How you doing, bro? It's a pleasure, man. It's, this is like the first time we're finally having, you know, meeting each other. You've, you've been around for a couple of times where it never happened, so really appreciate you stopping by in our studios today. Listen. For a, a few people, or a couple of your fans, even people that know you, people that don't know you, they know the song, I Like Girls. You know, it's Mr. You know, Effie Miller, Mr. I Like Girls. Now, more recently, it's uh, only reason. As far as I'm concerned, it's got a reason. <laughs> now, let's talk a little bit in, in, in just stops. Previously, as far as we're concerned, label-wise, you used to be with Storm Records. What's the situation? You're still a Storm Record uh, artist, or what's going on there? I'm a champion, Papa, and I want to know you. Champion lover, I'm a kind of phone you. With the jiggly, jiggly, with the school, I follow you. Anywhere you want to go, and when you stop up. Um, Storm is still kind of like a family, but I left Storm Records. I left Storm Records. To all the, uh, throughout the whole of last year, I was just doing my thing. I was actually signed and I um, was signed through a joint venture, Storm and Two Concept. I started with Two Concept yeah. back in those days when yeah. we had. When you had the. Yeah, when you had the. With that with green. That green. Yeah, yeah, rest in peace. And uh, then that was when I had uh, the, the stuff with MI area. Yes. Oh no, this is for those people who don't know. Yeah, and you had the remix yeah, with NATO C and everything. We were like getting funky before the, you know, before it all, before it all increased to the. You know, fast the fast beats. That. Yeah, yeah. When it was more R and B yeah, and more stuff, R &B, hip hop, vibe with hip hop yeah. and all that, the mm. clubs and all. But it's all right, it's cool. Then, but right now, yeah, I'm trying to do my thing. Basically, throughout last year, I was just on my own, like a freelance and all that. But right now, I, 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 I actually had some offers, but I, I just wanted to see what would happen. Just see what would happen on your time. own. Yeah, yeah. One of the things, the one of the interesting things about yourself is I mentioned the song. I like girls. You know, your song Sanda Lily, incredible track featuring your boy yeah, Terry G. Yeah. Um, you're one of the artists in Nigeria that has a certain type of voice. The soulful, can rock Thank the you. stage, can sing, can That's perform, awesome. strong vocal presence. Thank you. Now in the industry, in the you know, in the Nigerian music industry, the Afrobeat industry, yeah. we're getting a lot of singers that really can rock the mic, can perform on stage. You know, but but some of them are getting more shine than the likes of you and they go to the K, people that can really put the vocals down. How does that make you feel as an artist, knowing that you've you've done this work, you've worked this hard, you can perform like this, but they're not so good or credible artists are starting to get shine and you guys are having to work a lot harder. How does it feel for you? Um, it's alright, it's all good. But you know what me I really believe in, in life, you know, um whatever you do, just try and be relevant, just try and you know make it happen mm. so for the fact that you know it's not really easy. the music hustle is very hard so for the fact that you're an artist and you're doing good for yourself i believe you're good because uh, it's, a, it's just all about what people want to hear what people want at the same time you just originality matters too when you need long, uh, longevity yeah. kind of songs that will be there for for yeah, years i like girls on a couple yeah, of years ago yeah, it's still playing you. in clubs just now like, yeah just like two baba and all that but you know i respect a lot of artists um, boys are coming out doing good for themselves. People are rocking for the fact that Afrobeat, you know, mm. is really it's really like 
is really trying to battle other music and they are part of the people making it happen i really I like that. yeah that's cool i like that because if 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 afrobeat is no more it's gonna be hard for the rest of us and for everybody mm. so for the fact that you're an artist you have a big song out there you know thumbs up to you because you are you are, you are still you're promoting trying, the yeah, brand you're trying it? to help us stay relevant help up afrobeat out there just like in football yeah you know the present super egos yeah kind of stronger than the one before absolutely and they are now they now make now people now believe in believe again in football in football in because of what they did football, yeah absolutely. so it makes people still believe okay and it makes other you know imagine artists believe okay we too we can get there you can do it that's good, that's man. it that's it really appreciate that yeah. well i like the honest answer there yeah. now um you mentioned that green there uh, r.i.p the green lost his life a couple yeah. of years ago yeah. was uh, a tough time to go through for someone like you. Yeah. We in the industry now we've suffered another loss in in in, in terms of Goldie. Yeah. How you know does such big personalities when when we have those kind of losses in the industry? How does it affect artists like yourself and and the industry as a whole? What does that do? It affects the rest of us because um, I know. You know, when a, when an artist blows up, it's like more of an individual success. But I know it's like a team. Yeah. You know, so it's just like we lost a team member. You know, we lost a member. We lost like a colleague mm. that's helping us to push oh, our song out there mm. because she was a very very hardworking person. Because I've had encounters with her. We did a show together in New York. We 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 we, we, we had a discussion for very long. She's very hardworking. She wanted if you want something, she would go for it. You know, you know. I remember I kind of joking that I'm all this big brother Africa, you know that kind of thing. And she was there, mm. so her songs were good. You know, she was trying her best yes. against all odds, mm. and she was getting the results. She was an ambassador, so uh, and she was an ambassador. Like I think to to, to, to uh, different yeah, organizations, different organizations, and all mm. that. I think she had an NGO. She planned, you know, starting her in the uh, her program reality with, show, yeah, reality show with yeah, Daily Daily. Daily. and all that. So. But the thing is, it's only God that knows the reason why we can't question it, mm. you know. And in life, that's it. That's it. But it was, so, it was just so, so touching. And right now, I'm still feeling it. Just that I hardly want to talk about stuff like that yeah. because it changes my mood. Absolutely, and, and, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I don't, so, I don't want you to dwell on that yeah, too very, much. Yeah, very emotional. You know, like I, when we lost, when the green went, so mm. it took me like almost a year or something. So many months to really get over it and mm. all that. You got to a stage. I must I, 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 like. I appreciate. I I appreciate oh, we thanks you, man. To the, to the absolutely, thing. absolutely. Yeah. So let's yeah. move from, you know, from from that into more okay. exciting news. Yeah. You have been working hard for the last twelve months, doing okay. your thing by yourself, as you've said. Mm -hmm. So now it's time to to put the music out there, to yeah. put the products out there. Yeah. What should we be expecting now? I know you've, you, like I said, um, only reason is a. Good track, mm -hmm. but you told me that you've got yeah, yeah. banging tunes. You're shooting a video in the UK in the yeah. next couple of days. Yeah. Tell me what people should expect from you coming up 2013. Um, all I just want is just all I just all, all me I'm doing is still doing my hustle and believing in God to make it happen big time. Mm. You know, and I just want to thank God and count my blessings because I know where I'm from. You know where I'm from, the kind of place that I'm from. Um, <laughs> So I thank God, I, th I count my blessings, uh, and a lot of people are trying to get to this stage that I am. But just like in life, the rich wants to get richer, mm. they just want to keep climbing up, you know that kind of thing. So, and I want to get there. But you know, like all those songs, like Only Reason, yeah, Sander Lily, and the rest of them, yeah, Injection was just like more of freestyle. I was just like, okay, let me still keep recording, so I can have more materials somewhere late, you know, yeah, and, and somehow, somehow, I'm still trying to stay relevant. You know, at least they still hear my name and all that. But I just still, I'm still you, working. You out talk, still. you talk about leaking tracks. Yeah. You know, I speak about it with DJ Larry a couple of times, and I'm sure a lot of the fans also hear that most of the time online. Yeah. This new culture of tracks being leaked in the Nigerian industry is it like <laughs> artists are putting it out there for people to kind of sample, or is someone actually trying it? Because David O was here as well, and he spoke about people coming into yeah. your studio That's and it. actually stealing from your hard drives. So, what is the truth behind the leaking stories? Uh, you know, like my own case, I have a very small, like a small studio in the house, like a laptop and all that, mm. where I can just sample voices and maybe go to the big studio and all that. And just put it out. Yeah, and 
you know you can me you know me i'm that kind of person that really don't discriminate the producer i don't do it because you have a name you're big mm. i've worked with the producer we started together everybody blew up together yeah that's how it is mm. so if i get any beat from any new any producer i don't i go to their studio even if you live in the hood i know i'm, I'm from the streets yeah even though i'm no more like you know living there yeah i go there i go with like maybe one or two people and I go there, I record. So, you know, most of those upcoming producers, some of them are desperate. Before you know it, they might be like, Baba, have fun, I'm gonna release this song. Yeah. Chill, chill, you know that kind of, before you know it, you'll be able to be out there, somehow, mm. somehow. Like before that, one song I did, one injection got leaked. I called, someone yeah, Someone sent me uh, a DM on Twitter, like, okay, we got one of your songs. So, uh, before I knew it, it was even that song, before I knew it, it was out. Uh, on, that, on that two hours, so I was like, wow. Wow. So, I don't know. I don't know about other artists and other people. But stuff like that yeah. just happened. Yeah. Wow. That's that's that 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 should be a little bit scary for artists as well, especially when you're trying to put a body of work together that's and you right. you want your fans to wait mm-hmm. to enjoy the fruits of the label. All of a sudden, just someone just puts it out there. You guys, you need to take it easy <laughs> and just wait for the artist to say so before you release the tracks. Awesome. Now, like I said, 2013, you're shooting a video in the next couple of days. Yes, what track are you shooting? And, and, and um, you know what, what's it about? Yeah, I'm actually shooting the song. Yeah, that's got mm-hmm. that, you know that's really um picking up in some part of Nigeria. Yeah, yeah it's got it's got a play. Um, I released the song officially. That's just since I've been releasing, since I, I've been on my own. That's just like I'll say that's the main official single that I released for my own. You know, mm. and maybe Sandra Lily. Yeah. G, and so it's, it's, it's called Tonight, produced by Ty Mix. As a producer of me to see that yeah most, you've been working yeah, with him for a long season. time yeah. isn't it i've been working with him since i since i've been on my own yeah yeah i like his sound i just want to try another dimension of music you know so i'm still in i'm still in a good relationship with most of the producers that that, that i'll say that made me yeah because though it's a collective thing absolutely you know, scratch my back give give, give yeah, and take. scratch my back but i'll say they made me because without their beats so i'm still in like i'm still i'm still in contact with dr fraps so we see, just like everybody has been busy, SARS, mm. you know, and you know SARS is doing well. Especially right now, with yeah. the track with his kid, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's big, massive. So, um, wow, so that song good. tonight, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sharing it in uh, somewhere around Hackney. Yeah. Yeah. And by a director, black guy and a white guy. Yeah. So that's what I want to do for now. That's the reason because I've been here for a while. That's the, that's what I just want to achieve. You just want because, to get yeah, that done. Yeah, because that song, you know. When I, that tonight song, I really went in my own when I was writing the song. The picture on my mind was just to shoot it in a town or a country where at night there's lights everywhere, you know, like where I'm from, you know, where you know, before you know, Nepal don't carry lights and all this kind of thing. And you can't come out like when you're on the plane, you know, when you're trying, when you're when you're descending, the, yeah. yeah, you see lights everywhere, you know, like mm. maybe in this part of the world, yeah. you know, but in our own, you know, but I don't, but I give thanks. I'm from Nigeria, I'm green, white, I red, green, white, green. You know we're hustlers. Yeah. You know we Niger- average uh, an average Nigerian man is somebody that that's a go getter. If you want to get something, you go get it. So that's why I respect Nigerians mm. individually. You know, but wow. you know. So I really I, the reason why I came here to do that is I clearly wanted to achieve that, and I'm using that opportunity to go around do tour, cut C, Billy, yeah. QB, yeah, entertainment. QB. Yeah. And we've done one or two things together, which was cool. Yeah. Yeah. Are you making other stops as well whilst you're in the UK? Because yeah. I know you're going to Canada as well. Yeah, I'm, so. going, to, I'm going to Canada. I only, I'm going to. I'm, I'll be going to Nigeria in like, you know, like ten days time. Yeah. And I'll, I only have like three three weeks to one month, and I'm off to Canada. Canada as well. Because I've not been there, so the expectation is kind of high. Uh, yeah. People yeah. want to hear I like yeah. girls live and direct <laughs> in in the clubs. Yes, boss. It's uh, well, it, it like I said, it's a pleasure to have you here in the Thank UK. You. You're much. doing like courtesy of QB Entertainment, Billy. You know, you you're doing Boom. really well. The songs that I've seen, I, I, I just can't wait to see the pictures. Thank you. The sounds that you're bringing, Thank you, incredible, boss. incredible. Thanks, boss. What messages do you have for your fans? Where can people get more about you? Because I know you're on yeah. Twitter. Yeah, I'm on Twitter. I just yeah. um, you know, follow me on Twitter at YQ Jabril, capital letter of Ru. Y Q J U B R I L, Twitter, Facebook. You can check me out, check out on my on my fan page. You know www.facebook.com slash I am Y Q. Yeah. Yeah, and um, you can also if you want to get all my stuff, just go to www.iraking.com. Forward you know, slash. Yeah, that's where that. Yeah, because I'll um, just check you out there. Yeah, that's where that's where I, because you know another money they enter through those kind of people. Yeah, that's it. Iraking.com. Anything about me online exclusive. So now. Absolutely. You know, www.iraking. Just you know go to YouTube. 
YouTube it, Ira King, or just like search for YK, you'll see Ira King. Yeah, and just pick yeah. it up from there. Yeah, that's it. That's Support it. the brother, incredible singer. He's in the factory, yeah. on the ATV studios. Thank you, man. I am Adi Shokwe. And shout out to every big Nigerian artist doing good mm. because I just want to say thank you for holding it, for making it happen for us because, uh, you know, we're still staying hopeful mm. <laughs> because we still believe when there's life, there's hope. Absolutely. And we still believe, you know. Who would you like to work with? Which uh, Nigerian artist respect, would you like to work with? If I said right yeah. now on the scene, who yeah, would you like to I work respect, with? I respect almost everybody, but the first person in my mind is Two Face because I have this kind of song. There are some kind of songs that I've been, you know, I've been keeping. Mm. You know that I'm okay. It's that kind of people that goes, you know, songs with contents and all that. You know, I respect. I like Wonder Co. I respect him. He's like so talented. You know, whiskey is like, you know, getting it, making it happen. He's on the peak of his career. Mm. He's working hard, and it's just you know what I respect that boy. You know that guy is that um, he doesn't like. It takes advantage of any beat. Mm. You know, right? Yeah, it like advantage. it's very very hard working. You know, somebody that really that's working like okay, I've not even achieved anything. You know, I respect that we don't know. Mm. You know, the the young the young kid the who young came kid. who came out like okay. You know that's it. So things that's are good. happening. You know, back in those days where they used to say okay, when you're from the street, you make music and all that. Right now, oh. Uh, as long as you can make a music whether yeah. you're from the rich yeah. man's yeah. house or yeah. if you're from the streets yeah. anybody has the right to make yeah. good music as long as you can make a music that they feel on the street that means you, you're from the street so you, you relate with them because if i'm saying street street look at me now i'm working hard to be big i want to be a big man a very big man i don't want my children to go what i went through mm. so tomorrow too my kids will be saying i'm about low mm -hmm. mm. so you can't say they're not from the street because Absolutely. okay maybe my, my hard work has turned them to like uh, maybe Boti and all the kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, but their yeah. dad. <laughs> but their dad, dad went through yeah, fire. Their dad is from the street. Absolutely. So that knowledge is there, so you just can't tell. Absolutely. So well, it. we're putting it out there for you. Two Face One Day Cole, Whiskey David O, yeah. my man YQ. Yeah. It's a pleasure to be here, man. Thanks, boss. Thanks. Signing out. It's Fakusi on ATV.